Hi, welcome to my channel, Senior Citizen Sue. Today I am making another recipe out of my grandmother's um, newspaper collection of recipes. And I'm thinking this one might be from the 50s or the 60s, I'm not sure. But what it is, they, they are calling it just good salad, but it is a tuna salad with a little bit of a twist. Okay, so what you will need is uh, celery, diced celery, and uh, some green pepper, and I will put all the ingredients and the quantities later in the video. Grated carrots, tuna, it called for one large can of tuna, but as you know, the size of cans shrink over the years, so I'm gonna use two five ounce cans. And if it's a little over, you know, the quantity on the tuna, that's okay. And the really unique item here is uh, potato sticks. So that should be interesting. It says one can. They didn't have them in the can at my store, so I'm not sure what size, what can that would be. But I bought two just in case, but I may not need both of them. And then, of course, mayonnaise or Miracle Whip if you prefer that. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my tuna and drain that and get my vegetables ready. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, I'm gonna open up these cans of tuna get that drained and get it into my bowl and this is tuna packed in water use whatever tuna you prefer white albacore tuna might be good too this is just an off brand tuna I'm using okay get that drained All right. And the other one. Okay, let me rinse my hands and get it into the bowl. Okay, let's get the tune in the bowl. And even if I think this is not enough, I can add another can. We'll just see. Okay. Get that out of the way. And now I need for my carrots, one cup of grated, and this is a handy dandy little thing. It has a measurement on there. So I'm not gonna use this one. I'm gonna use this size of grating and see how it works. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, I'm gonna get this all grated and I'll be back when the grating has finished. I had my one cup and this took approximately one and one half uh, large carrots. So I'll add that into my bowl. Oh, on the floor, I'll get that later. Okay. Now, I need, for the green pepper, I need one half cup of diced green pepper. And you wanna get your, take your seeds out. Okay, I've got that all cleaned up. Let's see how much one half will make. I need one half cup diced. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's see how much that is. Okay, one half of a bell pepper, medium size. 
is just about right. I would say it is pretty much exactly right. So we'll get that into our bowl. And the next item is my celery, and I need one cup of diced celery. probably need two stalks. I'll start to cut up the other one here. Okay, let's see if I have a cup. Oh yeah, this will work. So two large stalks of celery. Okay, let's get that in the bowl. Get the rest of the ingredients. And the last ingredient actually is the uh, potato sticks, and the mayonnaise. And so far, so good. I did not uh, grate my finger or thumb, and I did not uh, chop my finger off. So let's get these potato sticks open. Boy, this looks interesting, doesn't it? Okay, I mix this up and then I get my uh, mayonnaise in here. I was worried that this wouldn't make too much, but this is a pretty good size once you add all the vegetables in. And I'm gonna get a spoon here. That might be a little bit easier. If you hear noise outside, there's construction in our street, so hopefully you don't hear too much of it. There's several trucks out there. They're repaving, digging up the pavement and repaving. It's pretty smelly out there too, with the tar and all that. Ooh, okay, I think this is going to be good, really interesting. And I think one package, the package that I used is a four ounce package of these potato sticks. Now, um, it doesn't say how much mayonnaise to use, so I'm just going to uh, guess. This looks really interesting. And I'm thinking that this is something you might want to serve right away. I don't know how soggy these chips or potato sticks will get. Okay. Let's get the mayonnaise in here. Well, there's another mess to clean up. Okay. Okay, I got a large heaping tablespoon here. I'll try two to start with. calls for no other spices so you can use your own judgment and put in here whatever you want however I do not think you will need salt because of the uh, there's probably quite a bit of salt on these potato sticks let's see what this is sodium wise sodium per serving and a serving size is two-thirds cup uh, is 110 milligrams so I don't think you ne would need to add any salt in here Pepper might be nice. Okay, I think I'm going to put just a little bit more mayonnaise in. Better to start off with too little than too much. So another heaping spoonful. Okay, I'm going to finish getting this mixed up clean up my mess a little bit, and we will give this a taste, but look at it. Doesn't it look kind of pretty? Not too bad. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Okay, let me dish some up on my plate, 
and we'll see what this is like. Okay, a little bit more here. It's kind of pretty. Oh, let me see here. Can you see that now? Yeah. Okay, let's see what it's like. This is really good. I really like the uh, shoestring potatoes in there. I would recommend adding some pepper. So once I'm done with this video, I'm gonna add some pepper in here and stir it up some good uh, ground black pepper. That'd be great. But I don't think it needs anything else. And I would recommend making this. It's pretty darn tasty. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.